For those who remember, a couple years back, I did a video showing off the current mesh Wi-Fi system that I have in my house and office. I had tried out a couple different options, but finally settled on one that was using Wi-Fi 6 as the backhaul between the different mesh nodes to improve the internet connectivity here in my office, since where the internet comes into the house is down on the third floor, and I honestly didn't want to run networking cable between the two connections. Fast forward now three and a half years or so, and things are still working really great. The internet speeds are fast, connectivity is great, but the thing that has changed is the introduction of Wi-Fi 6E that should be a huge improvement over Wi-Fi 6. And that's where our sponsor for today's video comes in. Dynalink sent over their brand new mesh Wi-Fi system that's running on Wi-Fi 6E, and we're gonna give it a try to see if it's gonna improve the network connectivity here in the house. Okay, so this here is the Dynalink AXE 10200. So let's kick things off with just a quick unboxing and then walk you through the setup process. Now, before we get too far, I do wanna point out that the price point for this unit is $399, which is actually a pretty good deal. But for Prime Day, they're dropping the price by 30% to $279.99. If you wanna take advantage of that discounted price, make sure to check out the link in the video description below. Inside, you'll find a setup guide that is fairly easy to follow along with, two Dynalink AXE 10200 router nodes, power cables for each of them, and then a single networking cable. The setup here is really simple. Just plug in the main router and then connect that to your modem with the included network cable. After that, connect your smartphone to the Wi-Fi router that you just plugged in with the username and password that are on the bottom of the router. Once that's done, you'll want to download the Dynalink app onto your smartphone so that you can finish setting up the router with configuring the network name and the password itself. And once that part of the process is finished, you'll want to plug in that second router and follow the instructions on the screen in the app to connect and configure the mesh network. The unboxing and the complete setup of the mesh Wi-Fi system should take you about 10 minutes or less. And if this is the first time that you're setting up a mesh Wi-Fi system, you do wanna make sure that that second node is placed optimally within your house, within great reach of the first node, but far enough away that it's gonna amplify your Wi-Fi signal anywhere you need in the house. Dynalink claims that their system provides coverage for up to 6,000 square feet, which last time I checked is more than enough for the average household and definitely a lot more than what we have here. Even though we do have four floors and this is old construction, I'm curious to see how the Dynalink actually holds up. The main thing that most people focus on when talking about Wi-Fi 6E is the network speed increases that you get with the new standard, and they're honestly really impressive. But what's arguably more important, especially if you live in a city or a densely populated neighborhood, is the addition of 6 gigahertz to the standard, which means the devices have access to 1200 megahertz of uninterrupted spectrum, which up until now hasn't been used for Wi-Fi. That six gigahertz backhaul that's being used between the two Wi-Fi nodes means that you're not gonna be getting any interference from your neighbor's Wi-Fi. Well, at least until they upgrade to Wi-Fi 6E as well. The current mesh system that I've been using for the last three and a half years, as mentioned before, does have Wi-Fi 6, but that's only for the backhaul between the two nodes, which does improve the speed, but it only broadcasts Wi-Fi 5, which is slower than Wi-Fi 6 and even slower when compared to Wi-Fi 6E. For comparison, the Dynalink AXE 10200 uses Wi-Fi 6E for that backhaul, but also to broadcast to other devices as well, with 160 megahertz channels with tri-band connections, over 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and of course, 6 gigahertz as well. It supports an incredible throughput of 10,200 megabits per second, which, as you recall, is actually the name of the system. Now, for those who do want to get really technical, each one of these devices is powered by a Qualcomm Maple 1 gigahertz dual core 64-bit CPU and has eight antennas built in on the inside. The system can support up to 200 devices at once, which makes it perfect for a large family or if your current network is being bogged down by all of those smart home devices that constantly need a Wi-Fi connection. And each one of the routers does have two one gigabit ports on the back that allow you to connect any other peripherals that you might have, like a NAS system or a gaming console, just to make sure you have the best connection possible. When it comes to security for your network, Dynalink has included WPA2 and the latest WPA3 encryption protocols, just to make sure that your Wi-Fi network is as secure as possible and no one is listening in on what you're doing. 
but there's also the added layer of personal security built in with parental controls. If you're a parent, this feature is incredibly important since it allows you to create up to 16 individual profiles and then within that, eight devices for each one so that you can schedule when a device is connected to the network or not and also set up filters so that the people browsing the web aren't looking at things that they shouldn't. Of course, there's also the option to set up a guest Wi-Fi network so that you don't have to share the password to your main Wi-Fi network anytime that your friends and family come over, which is an added layer of security. But on top of that, there's also the option to set up a network that's specifically designed for your smart home devices so that your smart lights, your plugs, robot vacuums are separated out from everything else on your network. Okay, so we've gone through a whole list of different features available on this mesh Wi-Fi system, but the question you probably want answered the most is whether or not the Dynalink AXE 10200 is an improvement over the system that I've been using for the last three and a half years. And the simple answer is simply yes. Not only have the speeds increased when I'm connected to the main router downstairs, allowing me to get much closer to those one gigabit internet speeds that I've been paying for all these years, but the mesh Wi-Fi system actually manages to improve the average download and upload speeds up here in my office where I actually use the internet a whole lot more. With the old system up here in my office, I would average 373 megabits per second for download and 338 megabits per second for uploads. With the Dynalink though, that changed dramatically, going to 479 megabits per second for those downloads and 458 megabits per second for those uploads, which is a 24.5% increase for the downloads and an astonishing 35% increase for upload speeds. Now, as someone who deals with large files on a regular basis for videos like this, uploading and downloading them to YouTube or sending them off for approval, this is a game changer for me, saving me a whole lot of time and even just changing up the workflow and what I do. But having a good mesh network isn't always necessarily about speed. It's actually even strong enough to reach the far edges of my backyard, which is more than 100 feet from my house. The speeds back there are definitely slower, but the connection is still pretty solid, which gives you access to everything you need. I have to say that overall, switching over to the Dynalink AXE 10200 has been a huge improvement for everybody in the house, but especially for me up here in the office. And while I typically didn't have any issues with the old Wi-Fi setup that I had, its reliance on the older standard made sure that I really wasn't taking advantage of the internet speeds coming into my house that I actually pay for each and every month. As far as pricing goes, the Dynalink AXE 10200 costs $399, but there's some great deals over on Amazon from time to time, so make sure you check out the link in the video description below to find those. If you have any questions about this current setup, be sure to drop your questions in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.